This week's nugget is about a common error or mistake that most 40 year olds make when strength training. And that is not integrating metabolic training in their strength training. So we know that there's a couple of ways that we can improve strength and put muscle in our body. That is through progressive overload and also negative training to really put pressure on that letting go phase. That that negative training does the most damage for our muscles, therefore hypertrophy occurs. But what happens when our body just doesn't want to train that heavy? What if we don't want to train really, really heavy, or we don't want to train negatively just because our body doesn't feel like it should? Well, one common mistake is that we avoid the metabolic stress option, which is keeping the reps a little bit higher. Um, we tend to think that higher reps include um, or mean it, we don't get through certain thresholds that we need to, but that's actually not the case. So I'm not saying we need to do 50 to 60 to 70 reps, but the example of doing the far, farmer's walks that we did last week is a very perfect example of what that metabolic stress is like and how your body responded to it. Most of you said on the Facebook page that you certainly felt different muscles um, and were more sore than usual. So that is what I'm talking about, higher reps, through a, th through a certain threshold can be extremely beneficial. It's also a lot better for people, especially for us ladies who are getting a little older um, in our 40s, 50s, and 60s, um, that it's sometimes a lot easier on our muscles, tendons, and joints. So if you're feeling um, some wear and tear in muscles, tendons, and joints, picking up the intensity and changing the metabolic stress through higher reps and training through that discomfort is a great way to do it. So next week, that is what we're gonna focus on. So it's gonna be all repetitive workouts, but this week's progression is actually going to be through metabolic stress. So let me show you a perfect example. So normally when we do a bicep curl, for example, we're gonna work on strength. We're gonna grab a big hip, heavy weight. This is 45 pounds. This is going to be something that we challenge ourselves between six and eight reps. So that is what I call um, you know, negative training where we're going down super slow, maybe we cheat it up and then we're adding that extra force as we go down. That is an excellent way to develop strength and put on muscle, but what happens on the days that you're just not feeling that your joints are capable or wanting to do that kind of load? Instead, this week we're going to challenge ourselves with higher reps. So you're going to grab a lighter rep, which is going to force you to work higher, or sorry, lighter weight that is gonna force us to get into the higher rep range. So for example, this is 45 pounds. Even if I go to 20 pounds, it's going to be a challenge. But I'm going to um, actually grab 15s for this example, just to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So same thing, feet are shoulder width apart, side bend in the, el side bend, bend in the elbows, tuck in the pelvis, elbows are nice and snug. And instead of doing our 10-ish, the last two are difficult. This week, we're going to train to the threshold, to the burn, and work through it. So instead of me saying the last two are going to be difficult, I'm going to have you grab a lighter weight than you've been doing. So hopefully you've been taking your notes. If not, just grab a typically lighter weight than you normally would. And you're going to keep going through those last two to three reps that are uncomfortable. Now, in this case, you might go one arm at a time to get that higher rep range. You can certainly drop set, but the goal, the goal here this week is to select a lighter weight or load to work through the entire set. So drop setting is something that I want us to try to see if we can not do and train our 15 to 20, in some cases it's gonna be 25 reps to work through that metabolic stress. Let's see what that does to our bodies. I bet you we're all going to have a sudden wake up um, and a great response this week. So that is our nugget this week and that is what we're gonna focus on for next week.